Hi everybody and welcome back I hope. Uh, you may have noticed earlier today I posted a video comparing side-by-side -side Zen desktop setups, one running on vSphere and one running on Zen server. Um, I got one um, request which was to so show a more professional workload um, doing the same kind of thing. So I actually had already shot this video prior and I just didn't make it public. So here I'm going to um, do the video again and this time I'm going to make it public. Uh, what you're seeing on this video is slightly different than my last video. In my last video I very clearly spelled out I was running 10 desktop uh, 7 and 7.0 or 7.1 uh, and this video is a little bit different. I couldn't get this demo or this benchmark to run on Zen Desktop 7 on top of vSphere. Uh, so I had to go to VMware View. But the whole point of these videos isn't to show uh, VMware View versus Zen Desktop. What I want to point at is the GPU technology, which is a hypervisor technology, and how they compare. So here you see I'm really focusing on the fact that on the left we see vSphere 5.5 and on the right we see Zen uh, server 6.2 and on Zen server of course is where NVIDIA grid vGPU works. So in these tests you're going to see once again a massive difference between um, each each test that runs and on the screen I've put test completed when you see the vGPU test and for the most part everything runs in real time but later on uh, in the video that will change and I'll discuss that right then but for now just in case you didn't see my other video first off I would highly recommend you go look at the blog uh, look at the video that, that I did that uh, shows these comparison but I'll just give you a pretty quick overview of what you're seeing on the left you're seeing the VMware's VSGA technology which is virtual shared graphics acceleration this technology works with pretty much any GPU that's going to meet VMware's uh, HCL list so right now I'm using using NVIDIA Grid K2 cards on both sides. I'm using the same hardware on both sides. Um, but in the future, if I wanted to, on the VMware side, I could put an AMD card in there, or if, the, if I have Intel on the chip, I could use that as well. Versus on the right-hand side, I'm using NVIDIA Grid vGPU technology. It's NVIDIA's technology. They own it. Um, it's, their, it's their stack that controls it. And obviously, you can see a major difference in the performance between these two uh, solutions. NVIDIA has spent a long time uh, writing graphics drivers and they've, they've done a very good job of bringing all of their expertise into a uh, virtual desktop environment. So we can obviously see major differences between the two and uh, you see even in this current test how um, the uh, vSphere couldn't even handle uh, this specific, specific test. Now I'm not entirely sure how this benchmarking tool uses um, how it runs, if it's using DirectX 9, 10, or 11, sorry, uh, I'm, I'm not sure what it's using. Uh, obviously, we're seeing a lot of errors on uh, the vSphere test. Um, but this is the one where I wanted uh, to really grab your attention. This next text test took so long to run, the video would have been too long. So what I did, decided to do is take the test, cut it, and then actually speed it up. 10 times faster than it should be. So vGPU on the on the right is actually running at normal speed, whereas on the left, the VSGA, I sped it up 10x so the test would actually take the same amount of duration as you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, and you obviously see a major difference between the two. So it, this test, whatever it's using is buggy. It's most likely not even supported, but it's a good benchmarking tool and it's really good um, for I'm assuming the organizations that are looking at these videos um, wanting to see something that's more tied to what enterprises would do, which could be um, you know, designed around 3D uh, engine or turbine as this thing uses. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed both of these videos, and um, that's it.